KCAL 9 News helping you survive this economy. We know a lot of people are looking for ways to save money. Consumer expert Regina Novikas is here, and she says that we could save a thousand bucks just by using the internet. Thanks for being here. How can I save a thousand bucks? Thank you for having me. Us. Well, it's actually pretty simple. You don't even have to make any sort of major lifestyle adjustments. So simply by tapping into the tools that you can find on the internet, there are a lot of great ways to save. And one of the first ones is bill payment online. A lot of people don't take advantage of their online banking services. It doesn't sound like a huge number at the end of the year, but you can save about $47 in postage, envelope fees, just by using your online banking services. And I think I just read something that stamps are going up again. Well, that's the thing. There's the cost that's taken care of for you. And there might even be some additional uh, benefits in the sense that if you have a payment that gets there late, it's the bank's fault. They have to take care of it. Well, that's something you wouldn't really think of as saving money, but uh, I guess there are some things in there that you can, that helps the bank eliminate if you do it all online. You're doing it all online. You're not responsible for the postage. $47 at the end of the year if you pay your bills on average saved. Great idea. What about travel? A lot of people are trying to plan summer vacations. We're getting on the internet. We're looking around and we're not liking what we find. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Costs are going up, but spring break travel, there are some great deals to be found. And one of the top things that you can actually do that I recommend, obviously with the travel sites, you can compare prices, products, and services all there at your fingertips. But on top of that, if you go to sites like promotionalcodes.com or promocodes.com, these sites aggregate tens of thousands of deals for everything, including travel. And I actually did a search for a rental car recently. I traveled quite a bit. Went to one of the travel sites, a very popular one, found a good rate for it, but then I went to promotionalcodes.com, clicked through on a 35% off coupon, and found an even better, better savings deal that way. So rather than going to the, the site of a, of a rental company, just go there first. Right, or explore, you know, with the internet at your fingertips, it's so easy to just take about 10 to 15 minutes to do a quick comparison search that way. So you can go to the rental car company site, you can go to the travel site, but before you book anything, make sure you go to the coupon sites and click through and find those deals because you'll generally find additional savings. On average, you can save about $300 per trip. Wow. All right, this is one we've heard before. You have to give up that $4 daily latte, but you <laughs> say not true. If you're addicted to Starbucks, you can still go, still get your coffee. You can still get your coffee. The problem is that people try to deny themselves and they exclude it from their budget.